Welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend. Bobby Broyles along with Rob Washburn here for more of CA Football's 12 Teams in 12 Days series. Rob, we got the New Hampshire Wildcats. Mm -hmm. And once again, business as usual for this program, this team found a way to get into the postseason for the 14th straight season. Yeah, what a remarkable accomplishment by head coach Sean McDonald, his coaches and players, and something that doesn't get enough attention on the national level. 14 straight years of at least seven wins with a roster that changes every year. The freshmen on this year's team hadn't even started elementary school when this streak started wow. in 2004. And not only do the Wildcats make the playoffs, but they win when they get there, reaching at least the quarterfinals nine times. Now, last year's team had some ups and downs, but they came up big in key games down the stretch. However, it all starts over next week. And even though expectations are high, with 18 returning starters and a number seven national ranking, we'll have to get it done on the field once again. As you mentioned, a veteran group returning on offense led by the league's preseason offensive player of the year in quarterback Trevor Knight, along with All-America wide receiver Neil O'Connor. Yeah, New Hampshire has a chance to be one of the top offensive teams in CAA football. It all starts with Trevor Knight, who begins his third year as the Wildcats starting quarterback and is coming off a season in which he threw for over 3,400 yards and 26 touchdowns. He'll have plenty of targets to throw to, led by senior Neil O'Connor, who's on the Peyton Award watch list after making 97 catches for 1,400 yards and 10 TDs last season. Also back are Malik Love, who hauled in 70 passes a year ago, and Karen Presley, who made 36 receptions. Now, the Wildcats would like to be better running the ball this season, and they have a chance to do that as Trayvon Bryant returns after missing last season due to injury, and Evan Gray is also back after running for a team-high 650 yards and 8 touchdowns in 2017. The key to all that, though, will be the play of the offensive line, which has three returning starters and much ho must hold up for the playmakers to reach their potential. We spoke with Coach McDonald, and this is what he had to say about his quarterback, Trevor Knight. Hardworking kid, uh, talented athlete. I think finally got the understanding that, you know, help and let people distribute the ball to people, let them do the work. And unbelievable, you know, when you, when you laugh with them about it, like how your numbers go off the charts because there's – kids that can make things happen in open spaces for him. Plus, he can create, you know, he's got some legs, he's got some ability to keep plays alive, he's got the ability to run. You know, and the other thing that, that, that Trevor's done is he's worked hard, you know, and, and two years ago in December, he came into my office and what do I need? I said, you gotta do this, this, and this. And he's been a pleasure to see grow in, in, in these last, you know, year and a half about, and, and, and not just football, but everything he's doing. Defensively, nine starters returned from a unit that played very well down the stretch last season, Rob. Yeah, there's no question that the Wildcats got better defensively as the year went along as they held five straight opponents to 16 points or less until the loss at South Dakota State in the quarterfinals of the playoffs. And with nine starters back, UNA should be able to build on that late year success. The strength of the group is at linebacker. All CA standout Quinlan Dean led the conference with 124 tackles and Jared Keel contributed 13 tackles for loss. Up front, J. Juan Horton tied for the CA lead in sacks a year ago with nine. There's also tons of experience in the secondary. At corner, Isaiah Perkins had a team best five interceptions, and Prince Smith Jr. earned all CA honors. Rick Ellison and Pop Lacey are back at the safety spot where they combined for over 100 tackles last season. Here is Coach McDonald on this year's New Hampshire defense. I, I really feel good about our linebacking cores. We have two starters, Keel and, and Dean, that are very good football players. Keel lost five games last year, and his stats were very, very comparable to a lot of guys in the leagues if he had played, you know, 11 games. Uh, Mike Balsamo's our third linebacker. I feel really good about him. You know, we got great front line. We got to develop some depth, and we got to get some guys come through for us in the defensive line, replacing a kid like Ricky Holt. And, and you want to play as many kids as you got. So hopefully this new redshirt rule you know, will give us an opportunity to play some kids and also some of the kids that redshirted will get their opportunities to play. So looking forward to seeing that mix on the defensive side of the ball. Coach McDonald's program looking to make it 15 straight years in the postseason. What will be the case for this team, Rob, to return to the playoffs? Yeah, when you look at the schedule, New Hampshire's going to need to come out of the gate strong. They open with that rivalry game at Maine, then host Patriot League favorite Colgate, make a long trip to face Pac-12 member Colorado, and then travel to nationally ranked Elon. If they can survive that stretch, then five of the next six are at Wildcat Stadium. Now, all the pieces are in place for another successful season, but as Coach Mack likes to say, every year you have to start over. Yep. The offense has plenty of playmakers and a veteran leader in Trevor Knight, so the biggest key will be solidifying that offensive line. 
Defensively, UNH needs to make use of their depth and experience and build on that success they had late last season. If that happens, there's a good chance the streak continues. New Hampshire kicks off their season on the road in the Thursday night throwdown versus Maine for the Bryce Cowell Musket on August the 30th at 7 o'clock on Fox College Sports and the Fox Sports Go app. Yeah, CA Football also caught up with a couple of UNH student-athletes for one-on-one -on -one interviews at Media Day. You can check it out now at cafootball.com and our social media platforms. 12 teams in 12-day series marches on as we preview Rhode Island on Tuesday. We will see you tomorrow.